Welcome to Utah. We exchanged the Colorado Mountains for the Red Rocks of Utah. Uh, it's actually our third day. The last two days we explored the Arches National Park. Uh, and before we will show you how we ended up on this beautiful spot here, we will take you back a few days. This backcountry road, still in its autumn beauty, took us from Colorado to Utah. For days, maybe even weeks, we are walking around with this constant feeling of wonder. And I tell you, this didn't change a bit in Utah. What is it with those red rocks? I don't know if anyone can relate, but we have always been attracted by this unique and raw looking landscape. After stopping at some nice viewpoints, we are hiking our way up to the famous Delicate Arch. This arch looks incredible on pictures, but seeing this in real life is something else. This arch is huge. The next day we went out for some more arches and bridges and I think the videos will definitely show how interesting this park is. Are we tired? Are we hot? Yes. And so Pascal and I took turns to some short but amazing spots. Kruis, dames. After two amazing days in Arches National Park, we took a shortcut to Canyonlands National Park. This road is a perfect example of how videos can show something completely different than reality. It looks like a pretty flat and smooth road, but I assure you it was steep, very steep and full of potholes.
Well, we were looking for some adventure, and this road was absolutely adventurous. After we reached the highest point, our campsite was near. Our campsite was located in this amazing canyon, and we were completely surrounded by these beautiful red rocks. After a slow morning, we continued our way to the Jiminy Bridges. Only we thought we had finished the rough section of the road. How little did we know what was lying in front of us. So, that was quite a trail. <laughs> uh, it was a nice shortcut from Arches National Park to Canyonlands National Park with a nice campground on the way and the Jiminy Bridges where we are right now. Um, and we did our homework. We really uh, looked to YouTube films and picture to estimate a bit uh, how the conditions of the road were so we could um, see if our truck was up for it. Um, but it's hard to estimate this from videos, it turns out, because it was a little bit more technical and difficult than we thought. Uh, especially the last, uh, last part. Um, I didn't capture that very well, I think, because I was too busy with leading Pascal the right way. Uh, and all the jeeps, they were just passing us if it was nothing. But because we are so high and heavy, we are really going everywhere when there are rocks and it's a little bit more off camber. And of course, we don't want to flip our house. So yeah, we did have some scary parts, but at the end they were uh, fine too. But you just have to make sure you choose the right way uh, to go up. 
uh, but it seems that the trail is from now on it's uh, it's much better so we are heading towards the canyonlands and yes the last part of the drive was just a smooth gravel road which led us to the main road to canyonlands national park but we were done for the day and luckily we found ourselves an amazing spot to camp with a just as amazing sunset Canyonlands National Park. That is where we went the next morning. So the kids were not in a very good hiking mode today, so Pascal and I are taking turns uh, to hike some short uh, distances to spectacular viewpoints. Uh, Canyonlands, we didn't really thought about that name, but now we fully understand the name. It's just a canyon and a canyon and a canyon. It's really impressive to see. Hard to capture though, uh, the depth of all those layers. It's I don't know, it seems so flat on video and pictures, uh, but believe me, it's really impressive to, uh, to see and experience this spectacular sceneries. On our way to Moab, where we will do something really special, we make a stop in the Dead Horse State Park. According to the legend, the park is named Dead Horse because it's used as a natural coral by koi boys in the 19th century, where horses often died. So nice views, but not such a nice history. Then we made our way to Moab, where we visit a powwow the next day. A powwow is a social gathering for Native Americans in which American Indians sing, dance and reconnect with old friends and celebrate their rich ancestral histories. We felt really lucky that there happened to be a powwow at the moment we were in Moab. We sat down in the audience between the dancers and their family. What a unique experience, something which we will certainly never forget.